Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to discuss about the Arrhenius concept of acids and bases. In 1884, Swedish chemist Svante Arrhenius proposed the concept of acid and base based on the theory of ionization. According to Arrhenius, the acids are the hydrogen containing compounds which give H positive ions on dissociation in water. On the other hand, bases are the compounds which give OH negative ions on dissociation in water. Let me explain the concept with examples. According to this concept, acids are substances that release hydrogen ions when dissolved in water. So, let's apply this to HCl. Hydrochloric acid is a compound made up of hydrogen and chlorine atoms. When we dissolve HCl in water, it breaks down into its components, hydrogen ions and chloride ions. This means that HCl is an acid, because it has the ability to release hydrogen ions when dissolved in water. According to Arrhenius' concept, bases are substances that release hydroxide ions when dissolved in water. Let's apply this to sodium hydroxide, which is a compound made up of sodium, oxygen and hydrogen atoms. When we dissolve sodium hydroxide in water, it breaks down into its components, sodium ions and hydroxide ions. This means that sodium hydroxide is a base, because it has the ability to release hydroxide ions when dissolved in water. Arrhenius classified acids and bases. The acids are classified into strong and weak acids. Let's talk about strong acids. Strong acids completely dissociate in water, meaning they break apart into hydrogen ions. This results in a high concentration of hydrogen ions. Some examples of strong acids include hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid and nitric acid. Remember strong acids can cause severe damage, if not handled with care. Weak acids are a bit different from strong acids. They don't fully dissociate in water, meaning they only release a small fraction of their hydrogen ions. Let's take an example to make things clearer. When acetic acid dissolves in water, only a small percentage of it breaks apart into hydrogen ions, that's why acetic acid is known as weak acid. Similarly strong bases completely dissociate in water, meaning they break apart into hydroxide ions. This results in a high concentration of hydroxide ions. Some examples of strong bases include sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. Weak bases are a bit different from strong bases. They don't fully dissociate in water, meaning they only release a small fraction of their hydroxide ions. Some examples of weak bases include aluminium hydroxide and ferric hydroxide. Arrhenius concept is a fundamental concept in chemistry that explains about acids and bases. But it has some limitations. One major limitation is that it only applies to substances that dissolve in water. This means that it can't explain substances that don't dissolve in water, like certain organic compounds. Another limitation is that, it only focuses on the role of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. However, there are many other substances, that can act as acids or bases without releasing these specific ions. For example, ammonia is a base, but according to Arrhenius, it should release hydroxide ions. However, ammonia doesn't contain hydroxide ions. Carbon dioxide is an acid. But according to Arrhenius, it should release hydrogen ions. However, carbon dioxide doesn't contain hydrogen ions. So Arrhenius concept not able to explain these substances as acids and bases. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.